<laughs> Alright, who wants to play some games? Me! I do! So I have all these Stargate characters. I have Janet, Vala, Sam, Daniel, Jack, Teal'c, and of course Hammond. Anyway, we're playing Daniel today, but we are reloading the base save because I originally made him an introvert, which works great for Daniel, but if my new plan is to make him run the constellation missions and do all of the companion missions, stories I should say, I want him to not get a debuff for having a companion when he's going to pretty much need to have one the entire time now. So we're just going to remake Daniel. We're going to do it pretty quick. He may not look exactly like Daniel because all I had done so far was basically made the characters. All right, we're going to roll with it. Let's go. Background. My dude is going to be a... I think he's going to be a pilgrim. I was going back and forth between pilgrim and professor. As a character, he tries a lot of stuff that random cultures offer him. So gastronomy roleplay wise made sense. And surveying, since he's an archaeologist, he does surveys. And scavenging, since he's an archaeologist, you know, he's constantly digging through, looking for little things. So he's got an eye for finding stuff. So the pilgrim made sense to me, roleplay-wise. Okay, so we're making him an empath, because we want to build relations with our followers. He, he fits in with the folks who were raised in Lane, because this is just all about allowing humanity to be the best they can be. And then I believe his last one was terra firma because he's an archaeologist and he's going to be down like on planet side doing planet things. So his name is Daniel Jackson. Confirm. Let's go. Let's get let's I get the gaming on. Listed pilgrim on your application. I don't see many people on spiritual journeys in this life. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? I like getting paid. All right, so Daniel, he's the the one most likely to embrace the dream and the vision. So it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just right. endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. Space undersuit. I love it. Lady, you're you're getting in the way. I'm trying to steal things. I mean, borrow things. Oh, look, credits. <laughs> or steal things. You all right? You need some coffee or something? Yeah, I could do that's some coffee. coffee. Actually, that's a good idea. Ha! Do you, uh... Do you mind if I eat that sandwich? I think we'll be done here soon. Can I, I hear this is the last day. eat the sandwich? Uh, hey, that was my sandwich. It was a delicious sandwich. To be able to like There we go. Yeah, this is, this is great too, like, holding items is way easier, and dropping, like, holding and moving and items and stuff used to be awful. Like, I couldn't walk with an item because it wouldn't stay locked in place. Now I can just grab an item and take it where I want to, and drop it where I want to. I mean, that one's wobbly, that's, that's fun. <laughs> Talk to me. Yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes Ooh. are a bit more sophisticated Pretty. now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. Yeah, right. I found something. And everything went cool? He passed Not it after cool. the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went Don't call me trip, cowboy. Huh? Wait, how would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. It's my idea of a good time. Look, just hand over the credits. 
I just don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know if I'm in my universe or the future or what. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Uh -oh. Alright, get ready for this. <laughs> Yo, dude, get out of my way! <laughs> oh my god, get out of my way. See? Man, screw this. Oh, because I'm crouching. Jesus, that's fine. Bye bye. I was like, man, why? Why is this not going so well? Well, one, because these fucking dickwads decided to blow my trap before I could. Before the pirates even got there. They're like, hey, let's explode this while they're still inside the ship. Because that's apparently how things are these days. That cutter is a much better weapon than those guns. Bye-bye. Alright. Okay, we got him. Man, so many of my own guys died. That sucks. You okay, dude? Yeah, I can. I mean, who's the Crimson Fleet? Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Yeah, Lynn's a badass, yo. Lynn is probably my favorite non constellation follower. Well, Lynn's my favorite follower, period. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. Fine. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. What is constellation anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Oh, that's us. brother. That's where we go. All the time. Uh, if you can tell me what this artifact yours oh. is, I'm in. Oh, no, Barrett. No. Do you think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Heck yeah. All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. <sighs> How about I stay? And I send your Dusty here in my place. I, I, I know, Yo, I I'm know, nobody's not Dusty. Minor anymore, Lynn. I'm my what own Dusty. That rock? Something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger Stop things. Stop calling me Dusty. Well, now that that's settled. Bosco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. So you're giving me your ship. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Bosco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about the okay. vision you had. Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need... This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. This feels like some Oma de Sala shit. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Alright, so on to the ship we go. And now you can see just how terrible I am at flying. Captain Jackson, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. Okay, Let's so... Attempt to boost the sheet, <laughs> just in case there are any difficulties. Vasco just called me Captain Jackson. But when I'm playing George Hammond, he calls him Captain George because he can't figure out how to say Hammond, I guess. And Janet Frazier doesn't get called anything except Captain. Because the game doesn't know how to say Janet. Like, what the hell? I get Fraser. That spelling on that can be different. Oh well. Alright, let's go do some space combat. Shields ready. Yo, I like the fast... <laughs> I like the sped up <laughs> animation. That's great.
Is this also gonna double time? No, that's pretty standard. Not particularly. Got him. Did that on purpose, Vasco. What the? Oh, come on. This is one thing I do hate about this game. I wish that there was a way to prevent me from being able to just stand up in the middle of combat. I do that all the time. If my fingers get off of the WASD keys, by even just one, I accidentally stand up in the middle of combat. God, it is so annoying. Nice. Oh, this- oh man, this mod has sped so much of this stuff up that was really annoying before. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I call it, uh, Darjeeling, and that's my favorite kind of black tea, so I should probably learn the official pronunciation. Kill that guy. Aha, I remembered you. Vasco. Vasco. In my way. Buddy. Pal. Sir! <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got a little- I love it, little- Little food steamy icons. Oh my goodness, this makes everything better. Red Rover come- okay. Daniel is an archaeologist. He is going to loot every book he finds, whether he's got the inventory space for it or not. We're also not going to read these on stream. But Daniel is going to take every book he can find. There is a, a lady in Aquila who, at least everything but Charles Dickens, she wants one copy of. Why is there an impact driver in the fridge? Is that a fridge? Yeah, it says fridge. <laughs> Why is there an impact driver in the fridge? Book. My life, chunk by chunk. Ugh. I really didn't want to pick that up, but... For the role play! Could listen to him read the... Yo, Spader's got a wonderful voice. And while I do prefer his Daniel. Uh, if I'm doing all of the other characters that are from the series, I might as well keep my Daniel in line with everyone from the series. So that's that's how I'm playing it. But yeah, I, I do believe Spader is the superior Daniel Jackson. No doubt about it. Now, that's not to say Michael Shanks did a bad job. I mean, he did, he did quite well with what he was given. And uh, you know, no one should have to follow that act, basically. He he was set up for failure from the beginning. Thanks, Spader, for being so damn good. 500 credits in a box! Yes! Headshot. Are you freaking kidding me? It's a desktop sand garden. Look at that. <laughs> One more time. Look at that. Uh, I wish I could pick up the fork and just play with it. Oopsie, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm supposed to be able to hold. No. Now I don't remember how to pick things up. 
In combat, Barrett often yells pew pew pew. I'm gonna come around downstairs. I know there's another one over here. Well, did he just blow himself up? That's hilarious. I'm about to be out of ammo. Peace is no longer a viable option. Peace was never a viable option. Right here. Of mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some fire on yourself. Oh man, screw this. Exterior damaged. Avoid getting guy. shot. You might die. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I set this on very easy. I should not be able to die on very easy. I'll do that again. And now we get to go through the process of looting all this shit all over again. Oh my god. The whole thing. Everything. I know where they're hiding. I was just trying to play it stealthy, like Daniel actually would, because he kind of sucks at this stuff. God damn it, Vasco! You're in my line of sight. jump in it just looked like water yikes ouchie wawa maybe daniel will learn to cook he does have gastronomy so maybe we can just focus on that and kind of leave the rest oh cool i want to stick my hands in the gloves and play with the thing yo that looks kind of like a gold Whoever this is, they have been um, experimenting on the golds. That is the roleplay here. And Daniel's Daniel's okay with it. <laughs> Given the shit that he's gone through. Daniel's okay with it. Alright, Daniel uh, has uh, 
scoped out the gold lab or experimentation lab. Man, this is gnarly. I never actually stopped to take the time and look and see what was in here. Oh, another dead scientist. Yo, he had 500 some macaroos. Yo, how come you can see me, but I can't see you? As if squatting is going to make a difference. That'll do. Got one! Man, why would you stand beside a barrel of explosives, my dude? Yeah, you too. You were also beside that barrel, so... I do not feel pain, but I hear it is terrible. Uh, where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Let's go move. Alright, and there's a dead guy up top somewhere for me. Oh, look, another dead scientist. I mean, darn, these poor people. What a shame. Alright, so these are my talent points. Order of operations, basically. Um, up to level 60. So... Daniel's main focus, he needs to get some weightlifting in him, but I think I might want to jump ahead to persuasion because I know I have a persuasion check coming up and I would rather, those are few and far between, so I would rather get started on leveling that sooner rather than later. So I think that's going to be the way I go as I just jump ahead to persuasion, then back to weightlifting, boom. And if I need to go bust out some levels, I'll just go look for ruins on a few our solar system planets and let him be like, oh, I finally made it back to Earth. Here we go. So we have one talent point. And again, I think the way to go is persuasion. Go ahead and get that in there. I hate that I'm going off script immediately, but that's the way it's going to have to be. He's a lover, not a fighter. And uh, he's gonna try to talk his way out of everything that he possibly can. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm with Constellation, oh, stop attacking! Now, you see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That Constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets. Oh. And it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has God been to it, many Vance planets Vance. and moons. But the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. I mean, there's I'm also some, like, ship. random metal ores. You can have those if you want to, dude. No treasure. Cut your losses. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay. Have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. They aren't? You sure? If you want to trade ships, that sounds good. I'm not falling what? for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Uh that's that's not how it happened last time I went with those choices. I thought I knew which choices to to do to make it work. This whole thing Whew. is starting to cost more than I'd like. Got it. Can't believe this. <laughs> there isn't any treasure. We've been no. trailing that old constellation ship. There isn't any treasure. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. The last time I did this I just left. I was like, oof. And then the next time I did this, I got popped into combat, and then I actually stopped and explored the whole place. What's this? Yo. 
oh, I didn't explore this last time. Oh, credits! I, I, I don't know how many times I've done this, and I just found something new. Oh my gosh, this game is amazing. Starfield good, Starfield good. Hey, I could just throw a grenade over there and start some shit. No, that's not what Daniel would do. <laughs> that's what the murder hobo's Dane would do. Welcome to Alpha Centauri. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are clear Fantastic. to land Atlantis. Well, let's go then. This game is so pretty. So pretty. Uh, we're gonna get up, because there's some things that I want to take out of ye old locker here. Yo, Vasco. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. Why is the Crimson I Fleet after Barrett? I have asked Barrett that same question <laughs> at various times. And about okay. various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. Okay. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. I mean, uh, Daniel's done that plenty. So I guess I understand, me too. Amp. Yeah, I never use those. Daniel's not the kind to use that kind of stuff anyway. He's he's not gonna use performance enhancing drugs. Oh my gosh, my inventory is gonna be so much easier to keep up with if I actually stick to the roleplay. I need to do that on everybody, frankly. Vala, all bets are off. She'll use anything. She's been caught with contraband before. I mean, she'll she'll do whatever the highest bidder is paying her. I have no idea what to get him to wear. I, I, have, I mean, I've seen most of the clothing options in this game, and nothing screams Daniel Jackson. I'll see if I can get him the generic blue jumpsuit, because that'll at least look like his, um, his fatigues from, from so Stargate when he's wandering around the base. Okay, and he's definitely going to do this side quest. We're going to go see this guy. Because he likes to help people, right? He's a humanitarian. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Is something wrong? Yes, been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you Maybe. understand its importance? No, absolutely not. Dude, Look, I'm not familiar with this particular here. century. If I this just got here. Gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? I suppose I just looked helpful. I'd love to help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. <laughs> ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. We'll get around to the biosensors when we are unencumbered, friend. Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. I just accidentally find a biosensor instead. Whoops, I went to the wrong spot. That's okay. It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. Vasco, I know. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us oh, cool. inside. I didn't make Welcome it back out in time. Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Well, why don't you start by telling me what Constellation is? Hmm. Very well. That's something Daniel would say. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. Pirates attacked. Baron asked me to deliver the artifact. Vasco. That's Baron. where we're at. All statements made have been factual. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee, See? and if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, 
I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here. Who are you calling a rock breaker? Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? That's okay. Just like the others. We thought there were only two of them at first. Right? Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's our It's them, very no pretty. Material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This it's so pretty. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. You'll need Into to the unknown. Anyway. Just mind your head. Dang! <laughs> second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery I can in totally human history imagine that. collecting dust? I can totally imagine yourself. that. Sit, Daniel, sit. Can I use this? It's Bet it's a two-person sofa. Something like this. Oh, and now he's in the chair. That's just I want it. I'll crouch down and talk to you. Curious feeling. No, oh, I can't. Seen something that no one I can't says. crouch. <laughs> that you know something no one else oh, does. Come on. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit. Of yeah. Yeah, it was. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. If that was an apology, you can do better. My lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Look, there's a lot of shenanigans in this game. Especially since it would seem he made the right <laughs> call this time. The let's video. start over. Shall we? Yes, let's Walter start Stroud, over, Walter. CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation... And off time, grumpy old man. I can get behind grumpy old man. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance. All right, sounds so good, my man. Ask if you've got ha, questions. Ha! Sofa's mine now. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Don't mind me, just enjoying the fire. That's enough. Key? I have the key. Alright, let's go drop all our shit off. This is an unlimited storage crate. So what we're going to do is hit resources. We are going to transfer all items into... Oh, beautiful. Okay, and now we are 56 of 135 mass. This makes me happy. I'm supposed to talk to the mission board. Maybe I'll find a planet that I can go to. Locate boiled seas. Okay, we'll survey this guy. And maybe we can find some ruins while we're there. Locate global glacial recession in Vega. Sure. Crystalline crust in Cassiopeia. And boiled seas. All right, we'll just take them all. We're we're an adventurer. We're looking for a way home. Oh my gosh! Look at this plushie. Look at this plushie. It's a cat with four eyes and tentacles. Eee! That is an adorable plushie. All right, there is two dates for Darla. Okay. Oh my god, another plushie. A cuddle -asaur. I need this in my life. Yo, I'm gonna buy a Galactic Hat, though. As soon as I find one of those, I'll show you. 
I'm gonna buy one. I totally just stole those credits. Uh, also taking the sealants, bye bye. I don't know who needed those, but. Uh oh, run away, man. That was an accident. Uh, I really wish I hadn't done that. That's the kids' room. I just blew up the kids' room. Can we, like, retcon that and go back to that last quick save? Let's retcon that. That never happened. Those plushies are freaking... Every plushie I find, I am gifting to this child. And every book that the other lady doesn't want is also going to that child. Because that's just what Daniel do. Bala tried to shoot the child. What do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Fair. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. Fair, it's fair. It's what we do. What is Constellation? What do you we're do? We're explorers. I mean, I kind of got that. Tell me more. Hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We were founded by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Okay. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. All right, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The we? artifacts are relatively inert once they're We? We're? That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. Let me it guess. You finally got a hit. Sounds promising. Mm-hmm. Oh. Look at my shirt. It's Vasco. If Vasco was a cat. It's not just Vasco, it's Vascalico. Oh! I bought it during one of the conventions where uh, Dallas Pets Alive was selling them. So I jumped on that. I was like, I need this. I, I hate this robot. I bought the shirt before I ever played the game. I was like, I hate this robot, but if he looked like a cat, I would be much happier. So I'm really hoping somebody does mods that you can change the robot, because I would change him into a cat so fast. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. Oh, I... But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. That's Maybe. Why constellation exists in maybe to put pieces like this together we're traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry oh boy that was a lot of time with her got it you and me constellation have a salary <laughs> no daniel wouldn't ask that you and me until we get when that we artifact to mass, every member of constellation is their own conscience understood an organization should have Those rules. Are the rules advance humanity's knowledge to the best of your ability as long as you do that, I'm not here to judge you. I don't know about that. Now, let's you and I get. You are mass. very judgy, Sarah. But Daniel also so thinks she's cute. Constellation. No. It's a dream come true, Sarah. You know that. Look at that booty. Just making sure. Daniel like sees it. Girl like you, there are Daniel no sees that booty. Sarah, Sarah, where are you? Sarah, Sarah Harding. <laughs> okay, her name's Sarah Morgan. Sarah! Sarah Morgan! <laughs> I've lost her. Jimmy's looking for reliable people to help. Trees around it's amazing there you to go. think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Sarah, can you imagine please be quiet so I can seen. talk to this guy. Thank you. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. Well, there's good news and bad news. Oh, boy. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. I'm glad your concerns yes, were validated. It does feel good to be right, particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that. The internal composition of the tree is yeah, changing. Yeah, I knew that was going to be bad news. In this news. particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something Great. we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, 
consequences for the city could be disastrous. Thank you for your assistance. You're I hope very welcome, are good sir. Ooh, credits. Oh, 2,000 credits for being a good citizen? Yo! Alright, check on him later. I can do that. Let's get our boost pack training. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Sarah, let's go talk to your buddy. Come on. Friend. Sarah. Uh, another space explorer. Uh -huh. Hey, do you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United nah. Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, maybe later. We have constellation business. Alright, alright. Can't blame me for trying, right? I don't really want to become a citizen. I, I want to find my way home. Getting Sarah to re -enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, re -enlist. I say no. Uh, Here's what I got for Former you, military lady. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Not Solar really Daniel's Mars, type. Neptune, you know. The soul system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian. Born and Wait, what's wrong with the soul system? That's... That's us. That's my. That's my star. Fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. No one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. I mean, Mars doesn't sound like a great place oh, to live, but he goes way back. clearly he we've established that we can something. live on Mars. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure going to be fine. Is not okay. Soul system is a lot of planets. Anything you can tell me about yeah. Cydonia? Bring a coloring book. <laughs> You're so used to seeing red, you forget what blues and greens look like. Uh, valid, valid, valid. We're off to Cydonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. I'm you serious about not taking you up on you it see ever. A good friend to have. Never. All right, let's go talk to the lady. Let's do the thing. Hey, lady. Hi. How are you? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. But that's the charm. New Atlantis? Uh definitely Bethesda charm here. Oh hey, she turned around. Hello. Thank you for turning around. I didn't think it was that <laughs> obvious. Oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. She's cute too and I really that like her accent. You, new guy? I wish we could Let romance me anybody in the game. That would be incredible. I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Less than legal. Security got wind, and the whole lot was found. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. Sarah's not gonna like this. I don't think this is something I can help you with. I, I don't want to let Sarah down. Oh, but I need that persuasion check. God, Sarah no disliked that. This is. Sorry, I'm Sarah. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. You know, polite, but unhelpful. Polite, but unhelpful. <laughs> Truth in advertising. Eh? Uh, right. Stop by any time you'd like to catch it. Sarah, I'm sorry you don't like this, but we're helping people. Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Yeah, I'm here to help you. Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. Uh-huh. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. Oh, I will help really? you, sir. <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Mm-hmm. Apologies. Thank you. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time... I'd be flustered, too. please go to the Free Star Collective Embassy? And speak to a diplomat. They'll know what to do. My pleasure. My good deed for the Thank day. Thank you. I'll wait here until the embassy sends the cavalry. Not like I have much choice. There's something I can help you with? Yeah, sure. Why is this area locked off? Oh, security impounded <clears throat> a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. 
So, you need something, or... How often do they clear it uh, out? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. Is there a reason you're asking? That's not enough time. Got some cargo. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really just let you in there. Yeah, I think you can. There yeah, we go. I hope so. All right, look, don't tell there anyone. There we go. I did this Persuasion thing. success. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. If anyone asks, I saw nothing. Sarah's really not going to like this. All right, make it quick. Please. All right, let's go. Uh, I have a present for you. Oh, no way. You really got it? <laughs> I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. Don't worry, nobody I died getting hope this. Not. <laughs> this is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth You're welcome. either of us murdering over. You in uh, town for business? Uh, official constellation business. You're with constellation? Yeah. Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full time seems like a dream come true. That seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for mask. Wish I could help, but I don't have any openings on my crew. Dang, that's too bad. Thanks anyway. If you meet any pilots looking for weapons experts, send them my way, will you? I I might I might need you later, friend. Don't uh don't stray too far. Welcome I got things to, to talk to you about. Easy. Is there something I can help you with? Uh let's go this route. You can't forget what you don't need. Uh huh. Like visas haven't been in use since the colony war. That's what I thought. No, this sounds to me like a guard bought a red marker and colored some tape. Yep. I'll make a call to Sergeant Yumi and see if I can't get this squared away. Thanks for the tip. You are very Not welcome. To it's Happy to help. Decade. Fine by me. Okay, let's get to know Sarah a little bit. Um. What do you consider your areas of expertise? Mm, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past yes, five years? Yes, lady, apart from that. Let's see. What are you actually good at? I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. That does and sound useful. as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. Botany. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. Okay. What do you like to do for fun? Exploration is my entire life. Okay. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession. Who is this? You have to promise to Lady, between us. go away. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And a no, band? I don't mean the school band. Uh, uh, I mean a rock band. Uh, we called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> Ironic. A ridiculous name, Comet. I know. But uh, Ironic we were just Comet. a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but Ooh. those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I strongly regret not talking to any of these people and asking them personal questions. Like, it was never I wasn't interested in romance, so I just didn't do anything that really related to the companions. I regret it because that was that is cool fun lore for Sarah. Oh my gosh, weird lady in the background, go away. <laughs> Daniel can relate to Sarah because he also his entire life is exploring through the Stargate, other uh, planets, or hey. in the past I'm pontificating Sarah. In the past he would do archaeology and explore ruins. Sarah. Sarah, we have a lot in common. I also am deeply dedicated to exploration. Exploration of our past and exploration of our present. And maybe somewhere between the two we can find hints of exploration of our future. Sarah. Sarah Morgan. I'm sorry, I can't see the straight face. All right, what are your religious beliefs? Let's go. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. Hey, me but too! Busy. They rarely pursued their beliefs. My, my parents By are the dead. By I was old enough to start questioning these things, 
The idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having totally been totally understand and agree, in Sarah. The star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious I agree. theory. I'm I sorry agree. if that disappoints you. No, Don't no, worry. we're on the same page. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. We have the same religious beliefs. Oh, the representative Chisholm made it through. Speak to someone at the embassy. They'll be able to clear this up. I fixed it. I You're here. For all this religion stuff. Daniel's parents died in um, an accident in a museum while they were setting up a large display of very heavy rocks. Um, so he's been an orphan since he was a kid. There are worse ways he followed in their footsteps. Terrence. Terrence, I'm having a conversation. Daniel followed in his parents' footsteps and became an archaeologist. Hey, creepy lady. What's up? The you kept... The Free Star Collective has no place in New Atlantis. Oh, what's your problem with the Free Star Collective? What's my problem with them? Really? I'm keeping the FC accountable for the terrible things they've done. Woo. The colony war was an unforgivable tragedy. Countless lives could have been spared, but the Free Star Collective was out for blood. The Free Star Collective took my father away from me. I don't know about that. I mean, that's awful, but I don't really know what happened, right? I'm just recently been catapulted into the future. I'm not even certain that I'm in the future. I might be in an alternate universe and I don't know what's going on. What happened was terrible, but we have to try to move on, is the advice I would give. I don't want us to move on. I want people to wake up and realize what the FC did to us, and I want them to be angry. I want justice and closure for everyone in the UC. Oh, what do you think should happen? Go ahead, lay it on me. I want it torn down, of course. You little anarchist. It's the only way to make peace. The only way to make peace, child, is diplomacy. That, see, yes, diplomacy is needed to make sure another colony war won't happen. We need that embassy. Mm. Diplomacy? This doesn't mean anything to the You're embassy. They'll break any law. You're what, 16? You don't know anything. It doesn't matter to them. Look, we're done talking. You can't change. Stupid. That is foggy and rainy. Do I see rain? Is there weather to geek out about? Oh my gosh, yes, there's thunderstorms. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, let's go find the thunderstorms. Let's find a like a good vantage point for thunderstorms. Ah, how do I how get up to see thunderstorms? Okay, so, oh, shiza. Um, you know, we're just gonna go stand at the corner over here. Where nothing can impede my view. Let's go. Oh, can I walk over the ramp? Can I go all the way out there? Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Fantastic! I'm gonna be like the tallest object out here. I'm gonna get struck by lightning. Y'all watch this. Okay, so, thunderstorms! Oh, lightning! Beautiful! Oh, who's standing literally inside? Oh, here we go. Sarah, way to absolutely destroy the moment. <sighs> Beth has the charm. I'm gonna pretend like she's trying to stand behind me and, like, snuggle me and set her chin lovingly on my shoulder. That's that's the RP looking out over the bay at the, the Milky Way. This So this is a thing that's happening right now. I feel the same way, Sarah. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, and she's gone! She made a grab for my crotch at the last second and then just disappeared. So I oh and she's back. Ooh. But can I? 
go explore the world. I mean, this is some really scuzzy water. Like, I do not recommend swimming in this, but here we are. There we go. Got more coral bugs. Or we got a coral bug. Oh boy. Ready for this? I mean, these are the critters that I need to kill to get things to make food, so. Not I'm another good. one! Good job, Sarah. Trying to run away. Oh, I think he's gonna make it too. Sarah, just let him go. Stay on target. Stay on target. All right. I mean, Daniel is an explorer, so this is this is fine. Wind-powered farm. Yo, I've got like 60 hours in this game, and I've never seen one of these. What is happening right now? Ship parts? Why, thank you. I think I will. The people that inhabited this location oh. left it in quite a state. Oh. That is maybe something we don't want to mess with at level four, huh? That's That's a terrible idea. That's a, that's a terrifying creature. Let's not do that. Nope. Let me just sneak around without him seeing us. Sushi roll. Let's go in here. Gosh, I hope that thing can't get in here. That's the top of the what? Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, that doesn't sound good. They're having a bad day outside right now. Woohoo! I'll take some credits. Yeah, I'll go buy some Digifix with that. Oh, that's the blue one. I like the flight too. Look. Okay. Watch your back, Alvin. <laughs> Watch your back. Let's go, yo, dude. Look at, no, that, that. Yes. All right, Daniel looks right. Yo, look at us. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems. I can do that. And power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really. I'm relatively give, safe. give me the boxes. I, I can go power down the boxes. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. I think the real question is, where's Carl? I can talk you through it remotely. Can I just go I'm find Carl for you? Station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. I was just there. That last click is so satisfying, isn't it? That's terrifying. Oh, Shiza. Sarah, help. Holy moly! A level 4 just took out a level 12? Maybe I could have done the Terramorph. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, he's dead. Yeah. He's very dead. Navigate. I mean, is it really stealing when it comes from a dead person? 
I don't like this having to crouch to steal stuff. Yo. Yeah. Hey, okay, I'll take the I didn't open. sign on for these kind of illegal shenanigans. I don't need the hat. Lady. She's never gonna love me. First of all, I didn't ask what you thought of. Second, don't blow smoke up my ass. We both know it ain't nice. Wasn't trying to blow smoke up your ass, man. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Boom. 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 I think that's it. Yep, we're good. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met? I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, I guess. And Daniel can continue helping people in the well when we get back to it. See ya.